are watching a master at work. What's going on, folks? Coach Jerry Seymour here with the breakdown. And in today's segment, um, I want to talk about two running backs from the Giants um, in their second week of the preseason. I know I'm kind of late. But uh, this run was by Wayne Gallman. And the second play I'm going to talk uh, talk about is by Robert Martin. Um, and these two running backs did a move that can be very, very beneficial for a running back if it's used correctly, properly, and at the right time. Um, and, that, and that's the cutback. You know, the, what a cutback is generally is if the defense is flowing one way, you stick your foot and get back upfield the, uh, the opposite direction. And uh, let's get into this play. So um, running backs, running backs, running backs, um, I, I heavily want to stress this, is that the cutback is a last-minute option. It's not where you get the ball and then you cut the ball back right away. You know what I mean? You have to make sure that the defense is flowing that way and there's nobody backside, then you can get upfield, which you're going to see in this play. Um, lastly, uh, you know, pre-snap reads. Um, I can't stress how important this is as running backs is when you're walking from – breaking the huddle and you're walking to the line of scrimmage, um, making your pre-snap read. So let's look at the defense. Um, I like to start inside out. I like to start with the defensive line first, and then I move to the linebackers and then the DBs. All right, so the first thing I'm going to take a look at, I'm looking at the defensive line. We have one, two, three, four, five. There's five defensive linemen down there. And then we have one linebacker that's kind of, you know, he's, he's inching up to the line. He's not on the line, but he's up there, so I'm going to count. So they have six defensive linemen down, and we only have five blockers. So that lets you know that we're somewhat outnumbered um, right up front. And let's look at the linebackers. So let's clear this out. And they have one linebacker back here. That's it. So this lets me know if I break the line of scrimmage and I and I can make one person miss, this, this will be a big play. All right, let's clear that out. And, okay, and over here they have – Three DBs, and then they have also a DB back here who's out of the screen, which they pose no threat, okay? So let's get into the play. So right now they're running inside zone left. All right, let's go through all his reads, the running back reads. All right, so he's getting the ball. He takes a step. He's approaching the line of scrimmage. He cannot go here. Why? It's bunched up, nowhere to go. So then he takes a second read. Where's the second read? Right here. Can he go up in here? Yes, he can. But it'll only be a two-yard game because he has a defender right there in his face or, uh, you know, that's coming, that's actually coming through the hole, um, getting ready to tackle him, clear it out. So let's go through his last, like I said before, his last option is this way. Right now it looks pretty good. And look, it's pay dirt. Easy. Easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at it through the back, um, through the back uh, from a back shot, and we're really gonna see the, the alignment, and you'll get a better view of what he sees, Wayne Gallman. So let's go back to it. So let's skip all this. All right, perfect. So as I told you before, they have five down linemen with the linebacker right here. All right. So let's clear that out. One linebacker right here. We break the line of scrimmage, make one person miss. We're good. All right. So let's go back to the play before he makes his read. Nothing there, as I said before. Nothing. Can make a second read here, but he has a defender right here who's free, who can run up and tackle him. And then you see here, the only other way to go is outside. And But look, look at this. This defensive end right here is being occupied by this guy. And also, the defensive end's momentum is going that way. So, like I said, cut back. Defense flows one way. We stick the foot in the ground and go the other way. Wayne Gallman, athletic, speedy uh, running back, gets around the edge. Nobody's there, and it's an easy touchdown. Okay? Now, we're going to go to the second play, and you get a lot of love from uh, Odell Beckham, highest paid receiver in the game. Now, what we're going to do here is this is by Robert Martin. Um, right now, they look like they're in a single back, um, double tight, to lined up to the right, and then split right receivers on the left. Um, and they're going to go inside zone left. This play is similar to the uh, same play that Zaquan Barkley, that 39-yard uh, run that Zaquan Barkley had against the Cleveland um, Browns. So let's go ahead. Let's go take running backs. Let's take our pre-snap reads. So right now they only have four down linemen. We're looking good here. Okay. They have two linebackers right here. Bam. All right. Let's clear that out. So right now 4-2. And they have four DBs out here. One. Two, I'm sorry, five DBs. Three, four, and this DBs, he's actually going over late. So that's five DBs, gentlemen. So that means they only have six people in the box, okay? So right now, we're outnumbered. How many linemen do we have? We have 
five linemen, and then two tight ends. So we're seven, so we're outnumbered. So this should be a positive play. Always remember that. So let's go through our progressions with uh, Robert Martin. So he's taking his own steps to the left. He takes his first read. It's almost identical as the last play. He can't go here. It's bunched up. No. Okay. He can step up in a hole. Same exact play. No. Got a guy right here that's ready to make the tackle. Okay. Clear. He sees this DB right here right after he sticks his foot in the ground. Look at where that, that DB's momentum. Where, where's he flowing, gentlemen? He's actually flowing this way. Okay. And then watch. I'm going to play at full speed. He sticks the foot in the ground. Get outside. He's not as fast as Wayne Gallman, but he still beats the, uh, the DB to the corner. I mean, if you have decent speed, the cutback can be very, very, very beneficial for somebody with some decent speed. It can be very, very effective for somebody with speed. Okay, so let's go see this play full speed. All right. All right, so from the back view, better view. So like I say, they're running a 4-2, 5 DBs. Okay, so we take our zone steps to the left. Bam, look. Everybody's accounted for right here. We got a hat on a hat. We got a hat on a hat right here. Ain't no way in hell we can run that way. Okay? So, second progression. Read this in. Can go this way, but this DB is free right here. And looks like the O linemen are doubling up to him, but they're getting off super late. I mean, typically, let's let's be honest. I mean, he can run up in here. I'm sorry, wrong, wrong tool. I mean, he can run up in here. I mean, honestly. To the naked eye or anybody, if I was, I'm pretty sure his running backs coach said, "Look, son, stick your foot in the ground, get upfield," and it probably would have been a great game, but it probably would have been a good game, good game. But let's take a look at this. He sees this DB over here. He's floating this way. Now, this is a honestly, gentlemen, this is a gamble that he took, honestly, because I mean, he really could have st stuck his foot in the ground, got upfield, probably gained about four to five yards, which is positive. But he takes a chance, as I said, he sticks the foot in the ground. This DB is caught slipping, literally. And he goes this way, up the field. See what I mean? What I want to do is I want to go back to that. As I said, gentlemen, he took a chance. He took a gamble. I mean, honestly, he could have just got the ball to stop it. He could have got the ball. Kind of made it simple. Got up field. Stayed right off the right off right off this guard's ass. <laughs> Excuse my language. Let's clear that out. This guard right here, you gotta stick it close. It's all about angles. Right off his ass and up the field. And probably have a decent game. But like I said, he's a he took a chance. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Sometimes you have to take a chance as a running back like Barry Sanders. Okay? And then he sticks his foot in the ground, he goes this way. Alright? So hopefully I'm not confusing you. Hopefully all this is making sense. He sticks his foot up in the ground. DB slipping. Definitely want to switch that ball. Switch to the other hand. So you ain't got to worry about holding it with two hands. Okay. So this is what I've seen. This is the cutback, gentlemen. This is two prime examples of what the cutback can be. Taking it, you know, obviously Robert Martin took a chance on his. Um, Wayne Gallman, his was pretty, you know, legit. Um, everybody was flowing that way. So he had no choice. But what I want to say is. The cutback can be very, very beneficial for you if you use it the right way, gentlemen. All right, this is Coach Jerry Seymour, game day preparation with the breakdown, talking about the cutback. Thank you.